We're almost at the end of our Preparing for Retirement video series, so let's review some of the topics we've talked about. We showed you the different ways to learn about your benefits and why repaying retirement system loans is important. We also covered how to request an estimate and how divorce can affect your pension. And we reminded you to plan ahead for post-retirement matters. Now that you're in the final stretch, let's talk about filing for retirement. Once you are eligible to retire and decide on a retirement date, you must fill out an application for service retirement in order to receive your retirement benefit. You can download the application from our website or get one from your employer, our call center, or one of our consultation sites. When completing the form, list all your public employment, including military service and any past membership in other New York public retirement systems. You won't be able to receive any additional service credit once you retire, so make sure this part of the form is filled out to the best of your knowledge. You'll also be asked to include the name and birth date of your intended beneficiary. This is not a legal beneficiary designation. It just allows us to provide you with benefit information under all payment options for your pension. We'll need proof of your birth date and your beneficiary's birth date before any benefits can be paid, so submitting them with your application will help avoid delays. The most common documents we accept are birth certificates, baptismal certificates, New York State driver's licenses, passports, naturalization papers, or military discharge papers. You can give us a copy of any of these documents. If you give us the original, we'll be sure to return it to you. Since your application is a legal document, you must sign it and have your signature notarized. Information representatives at our consultation sites serve as notary publics and can assist you in completing the form. Your retirement application needs to be on file with the Office of the State Comptroller 15 to 90 days before your retirement date. Please do not give your retirement application to your employer. Giving your employer the application does not mean you've filed for retirement. You can file your application with the controller by mailing it to our Albany office or by delivering it in person at one of our consultation sites. If you want to make sure you meet your filing deadline, you can always mail the application via certified mail. We'll consider the form as being filed on the date it was mailed. We'll send you a confirmation letter about two to three weeks after we receive your application. We've included links to some helpful web pages below. Please be sure to contact us with any questions you have. Thank you for watching.